not paying $900 for a skirt. <laughs> it's fun and why not dream a little? Hey there, assalamu alaikum, welcome or welcome back to our special corner of the internet. If you're seeing me for the first time, I'm Ade Kemi, your go-to modest gal navigating the intersections of fashion, faith, and business. Today we're going to be getting into my winter essence wish list, but we're going to be looking at it from a modest perspective. Back in 2022, I began a Twitter thread highlighting different designers from the season that showcase different pieces in their collection that could seamlessly fit into a modest wardrobe. The reason why I started this thread was because during each season, while looking through all of the runway shows, I couldn't help but to look at them from a modest perspective. As a modest dresser, looking at clothing, looking at runway shows, as a stylist as well, I try to envision myself in these clothing pieces. And so today I want to create this video as an extension of that thread, but we're going to be looking at my essence wish list. And I want to note that this essence wish list isn't really your typical essence wish list, aside from the fact that it's from a modest perspective, but also because I'm creating this wish list as a wish list. Like it's from the perspective of money is no object and also majority of these items are <laughs> nearly out of stock so i don't really have the intent in buying them anytime soon but it's fun and why not dream a little <laughs> also we're gonna be looking at different categories so jackets dresses some trousers footwear and some accessories as well all right let's get into it Starting off with this top from the brand Feebin, just for some background, Feebin is a London-based designer. She graduated from Central St. Martin's. She had her big break after being a costume designer for Beyonce's Black is King. And so it's really amazing to see her grow. I love her work. She really hones in on silhouettes and that is my Thing. If you didn't know, I love obscure silhouettes and Phoebe is that girl for that. Interesting enough, she was born in North Korea and she comes from an Ethiopian family and she was raised in Sweden. So a lot of her work is drawn from her eclectic background, all of her life experiences. So it's really interesting to see how she translates that into her work. So starting off with this top, I love, love, love it. I actually have a black one, not from her, but it's kind of the same silhouette. Let me actually bring it right here. Alright, so I have this top here, but I love the bold shoulder kind of look. It's kind of like a drop shoulder as well. And it's a turtleneck too. And so it would be nice to have like a cousin for that top <laughs> in a white version. It's on sale, but the thing is... There's a small left, only one left, according to Essence. Um, I really love the asymmetrical hem and the ruffles at the neckline. I can imagine um, wearing it hijab tucked in and wearing it in that style. Um, and it's just really fun. I also think that it's a statement item that like, I could just pare it down with anything. I could wear any type of bottom or a dress underneath it. And call it a day. I really like having ease in my wardrobe. Having this top it would just really allow for me not to have to think too much about what I pair it with because it stands out on its own. And while we're still on Feebin, I really love this black jacket. It's kind of like a jacket kind of blouse and it kind of looks like it has a Hoodie. Well, the collar goes up and it's kind of like a hood. I just really love I really love the silver hardware on it and also the name of the item itself, Black Armor. Like, it's just really um, such a powerful item to have. And that's the thing, even with the other top, like, it's so powerful, it could stand on its own. And that's why I say I could pare it down with anything that's really simple like a maxi dress or some simple trousers underneath you know real easy i don't have to say too much about it like look at it just look at it it's gorgeous also i find it really interesting that it's made with 100 percent cotton i'm interested to know like what that feels like because with this texture i typically see it 
and a polyester material but it makes sense because it gives structure and i think that's a great thing next up in our tops category is this linen shirt by venice w just a little background on venice w this brand is by the designer venice winnicorn cole she is a london based designer and she's thai she launched this brand in 2018. A lot of her designs are very obscure, very fun, very playful, innovative, and her clothing makes me feel like I'm in my own fairy tale world. So with this top, it's a beige linen shirt. I just think it's so cute. I really love the details of the buttons. I love the iridescence of the shawl buttons. The top is linen so I could transition it into my summer wardrobe easily. I love the collar. It's very, uh, it's very sweet and the sleeves are really divine. I love the way that this is cut. Essence described the sleeves as a lantern sleeve and I think that's the perfect description for it. If you know me, I have a lot of black clothes and I would love to get more like brown tone items just so it, I can like easily step away from black items. I'm sure I'm in this purple um, dress, <laughs> but I don't, I don't, um, I don't wear color too often otherwise. While we're on Venice W, let's get into this hoodie. So in my wardrobe, I don't really have a lot of casual wear and it kind of annoys me. Ever since high school, I never really had a lot of sweats and things like that. I just don't really own it. I think that this hoodie by Venice W is a perfect transition into that where it still has design elements, but still offers that comfort of it being a hoodie. Oh, that's so nice. On this hoodie, there's a detachable braided detailing at the hood, which is nice. I love versatility and my clothing items. I love having options. I have tendency of being indecisive. So any area that I can have other choices is perfect for me. And I really love these studs on the pocket. It's a really nice touch like it would be so different if it wasn't there and it's on sale for 115 not gonna lie i would buy it <laughs> i would buy it so stinking cute venice w's clothes makes me feel like i'm like in my own game like i'm in my own not even sims game but like i'm just literally in my own world and i love that <laughs> next up is this jacket by norki ninomia I hope I'm saying it right. Please don't come from my neck if I'm saying it wrong. I love it's the play on a motorcycle jacket. It's very simple but adds a bit of flair, no pun intended, but I love the silhouette that it creates. And the fact that the sleeve also has zippers on it is a nice touch that offers a bit more versatility. The bag is really what sold me. The bag is so good like i love when i see pleats done like this where it's very seamless and it just flares out i'm not really a fan of peplums usually but this one this one really sold me one thing i am concerned about is the fact that it's polyester sure it's probably a high grade polyester but i'm interested to know how it holds its structure and it's also unlined so i'm interested to see what that feels like nonetheless great silhouette love the way that it looks all right trousers let's get into the trousers so i love these trousers by ismiyaki first off they're wide leg they're lightweight like that combination already like perfect for wet water repellent Perfect for a modest dresser. That entire combination, wide leg, lightweight, and water repellent. I love this play on skirt over trousers type of look. Let me know in the comments, are you guys a fan of the skirt trouser combination? I'm a fan. I love it. I like layering and I think that this offers a two-in-one solution. I also really like that it's a cropped silhouette, so it's just good. 
and also from the back i really like the silhouette that it creates which makes me think it looks like it's actually one entire piece it's not it's not like a layer in front it's actually looks like it's just folded it's miyaki is well known for its practical designs also to know as a modest dresser i've been trying to move away from wearing trousers and such but i do make an exception when they are wide leg and when they offer coverage and so these trousers by ismiyaki absolutely do that um all right, moving on to the next pair of trousers, also by Isimiyaki, are these black square one solid trousers. Following a similar silhouette of the wide leg, these are a bit different compared to the last ones. These are a bit more tapered, and it comes with an elasticated waistband that's great. Again, these trousers, they offer this the ease that I, I want in my wardrobe. I could just see myself throwing them on and going. Maybe even pair it with the hoodie from Venice W. Like, just easy. They also come in, a, in white. And yeah, I think I'm into the white as well. I think you could see the detail more. of how geometric Isimiyaki's designs are. Like, these are like a simple type of trouser. But the fact that... I bet that if you hold the side panels out, it would be like a... Kind of like a triangle on the leg. And... It just offers a nice silhouette when it's resting, as well as when it's laid out flat. I'm looking at my wish list right now and I'm just realizing a lot of them are black and white. But yeah, I really tried to not pull so many black items. Let me know if you'd like a part two where I add different color items into the mix. I swear, it's so unfortunate that a lot of these are nearly out of stock. And that, um, yeah, I... I'm not paying $900 for a skirt. <laughs> okay, moving on to Anne Demille Meester. Just for some background, Anne Demille Meester is a Belgian designer who founded her label in 1986. The brand's core offers a juxtaposition of intellectual, very smart and tailored versus fluidity, romantic, and a bit of playfulness, I would say. This leather skirt is just literally perfect for winter. I just see myself with a fur. Yeah, I love the paneled construction. It's just a really nice skirt. I never had a leather maxi skirt, but this is the one that I would have if I could have one. And it's easy to wear. Now we're gonna get into footwear and accessories. Starting off with these shoes by the brand Grape. If you're unfamiliar, Grape is a Shanghai designer. They were founded in 19, well, not 19. They were founded in 2019. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Um, a lot of their designs showcase the unorthodox silhouettes. Their footwear makes me feel like I'm a character. And these boots in particular remind me of Spongebob in his black boots. <laughs> it's just funny. Like fashion doesn't need to be super serious. I particularly love these boots because they are detachable. Like the, the top half at the leg area is detachable. You can unzip it. And again, versatility. I love having options. And I remember I found them on Instagram and I was like, wow, I'm and love like a lot of their shoes are so fun even down to their campaigns they're so innovative and the designer wang yao she is a graphic designer and i can definitely see the inspiration that she draws into her work specifically in the campaigns it's really fun just very innovative and unique these boots are made with faux leather i really love the soles of them like it's like a bubble the versatility is really what got me. I could wear them in the winter while they're zipped up and boom in the summer, in the spring. I could wear my mules. Like, I love having versatility in clothing and the fact that it's in footwear. I don't really see a lot of versatility options in footwear and so this is definitely something that I would invest into. Next up in our footwear category are these square toe mule by Jacquemus. 
They're a ballerina flat and they're just super cute. They remind me of these flat apartment flats that I had before. I love the square toe and the bow accent. Like, I've been really into flats lately. I think I'm healing my inner child of my, <laughs> my deep disdain for round toe flats. I think that I'm falling in love with them. Honestly, from the Ghani flats to the Jacquemus flats to the flat apartment flats, I'm really enjoying flats this season. I've added these into the wish list mainly because if I were to go to like an event that requires me to dress up a little bit, these would be what I would pick. It's not always use, 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 you know? <laughs> and speaking of dressing up, I would pair it with this Simone Rocha pearl egg bag. It's so cute. Like I love sculptural pieces. I love when art is infused with fashion because I think that they are synonymous with each other and I, I think that that offers fun into fashion. And again versatility, the faux pearl detailing is detachable which is great and yeah so wow. It's a lot smaller than I expected, actually. This is the type of bag that you literally only put like your card and <laughs> whatever lip you have on for the night. And I think that it's something that could dress up a look easily. Next up in our accessories category is this wise beret. I love that this beret is made with wool, so it's gonna offer a bit of warmth. I don't really have too many like headwear but i would love to incorporate it a bit more into my wardrobe i think that it would just add a bit more dimension to my outfit and i love that it has pin tucks throughout so it just offers a silhouette that is very unique and stands out from the typical beret and it also has a drawstring so that's nice i'm actually really curious to see what that would look like on my head <laughs> i was never really a fan of the baseball cab on top of hijabs look but with this i would love to see what that would look like on me <laughs> okay and last but not least it is this big fur that i was telling you about by vakira just a bit of background on the brand vakira they are a brand that they merged in 2013 based in new york they offer a lot of playful design what really caught my eye was the silhouette of it and i would want to wear it backwards like I like wearing things the wrong way that is not the typical way that is made for and the reason why is because I imagine this with an, a black leather trench that I have and if it's turned backwards you would then be able to see the leather better and yeah oh I want to see it <laughs> and I also think that if it's like backwards it would just offer like a nice like drape silhouette type of look and i would be warm <laughs> i want to know how long it would be on me it doesn't have a length in the description but my main concern is like if it would drown me but for 790 i would have to go to montreal i would have, I would have to see it on me uh yeah all right that wraps up our essence winter wish list modest edition let me know which ones are your fave would you spend your money on well actually don't tell me that's your business but <laughs> let me know what your favorites were all right and until next time stay mindful and stylish Masa <laughs>